what up guys i'm back um so you do understand now the importance of why you should always have your eyes you know kind of like throughout if you are looking to be a, a, a successful investor knowing like you have to have that feel for the market and 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 that's not like something that you know you're you know kind of like born with or no no you can you know you work on that that's nothing but like time like with time you will start getting a feel for the market like if you spend more time just like viewing from the sidelines this is how basically i started personally um looking in the sidelines and yeah you know, starting with whatever that 100 or 200 bucks. Um, and this was like a long time ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday, guys. Um, you, you, you're you playing with that money at that point because you're still at that point, you know, like, oh, I don't know, like, you know, this seems fun. And then you start seeing it going up and you start getting the adrenaline rushing in. And then when it starts going down, you start, you know, saying like, what is going down, what is going on, but you're still like all new into this. So those days are fun and all, but then you start, that's when you start asking yourself questions. Like how do you start going, for example, to some YouTube channels and you start seeing people, you know, laying out charts and saying, this is that, and this is this, and this is that, this is that. And they make it so complicated to make you sometimes feel like you need them to do this and you'd be shocked if i was was to tell you that majority of the really really successful traders out there are like the big 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 hats out there um they don't even like even if you if you if you, if you even seen those movies like you know uh the big short and you know um margin call and all that stuff um, those guys, they don't, they don't sit there and look at the, um, you know, like, oh, look at this, it moved up and all this stuff, like, all, 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 all. they just go and do very good research, like, they do see the short interest, uh, okay, maybe that's manipulated, no problem, that just plays a little part, they go and see what's the condition of the market, what's happening, the news, read around, keeping your eyes abroad, like, across all the market, all the markets. Um, and then with that time in that market, like after, like, you know, having years in, into the market, then you understand and you have, you, you will grow that feel for the market. And then you'll start knowing because you've already like, look, listen, odds are every single person got hammered at least a few times in their uh, life if they're traders in the market, especially if you're a day trader. Um, and that's, and that's fine. Like, you know, you, 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 there's no one like even Nancy Pelosi is not, uh, you know, the, as, as she's called the perfect investor. Um, even Nancy Pelosi can't, you know, can get mauled here and there. Um, you know, but they're not going to share that, you know, that just defeats the, per, uh, the narrative of the perfect investor. So anyways, um, that's that's just that's just how it is guys like it comes with time my point is from all this is that with time you will grow your own feel for the market and you will know like you know what plays to play when to go in when to get out you know like those strategies and everything that comes in like when i've said throughout all my previous videos when i said that no matter what i always get my capital first my initial investment out first and then i do whatever i gotta do um because everybody's got their own you know strategy um i've seen people that for example have a 20 percent rule if if, if their uh, investment uh, you know falls under 20 percent doesn't matter if it's a good or a bad investment they're they're out um now that's a little cutthroat because you know in a play like for example any of these meme stocks odds are everyone is probably down you know 20 or even higher than that percent depending on when you got in um does that mean you just cash out it's a squeeze play so you see what i'm saying so that's why you have to have different like that's why for me the most important thing personally for me 
And again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just talking about me. My most important things, I always get my initial investment out. That way, no matter what happens, all that stress and all that extra uh, pressure of, you know, what if it all goes to zero or whatever, even though, like, you know, once you're in the market for years, you know that that's never going to happen in that sense. Like, especially if you're in a stock and you know you've done your research, then you're not going to expect no deal listing um, unless it falls under the requirements. And then at that point, it's like, what were you doing there still? Um, and I'm not talking about Sundial, guys. Uh, don't worry. Uh, we will make a Sundial video and you'll see um, what I mean, why we don't have anything to worry about. I think it's just like, again, everything's correlated. That's why I also say it falls underneath the narrative of why I th was one of, the, one of the first, if not the first person and only person to say, um, all meme stocks are squeezing at the same time. Because they're all uh, very, very manipulated throughout this whole system. Um, now, of course, some will go higher than other. Um, it's just because of the following and the cultish, you know, background like that it, it has behind it you know like if, if people say effort and just say i want to hold you know to whatever who knows like you know any stock could go to whatever again we've seen it with gamestop in just a formal phase um, go from the 342 or four dollar range all the way to the upper um 400s and that was not even a squeeze again that's what the sec and gary gensler have stated in that report so have your conviction guys have your strategy don't have that you know oh i need a youtuber or i need someone's expertise in these charts or whatever it's always good to listen don't get me wrong and and and, and somebody might point out something that you didn't see but that again that falls underneath the umbrella of keeping your eyes and at this in this point ears open abroad across all markets you know that way you can predict kind of predict what's going to come remember the big short with michael berry he just seen what was happening and then he went like he's seen what was happening with all those cdos and all those mortgages and you know they were like you know being resold over and over and over and over again and he caught the banks um at something that was very visible but no one dared to look. He was the only one who dared to look at that point. And when he made his moves, some other ones dared to look and seemed like, oh, wow, look, somebody's going crazy outside the market. So, like, that's what they called whale, uh, sudden whale moves. Um, and that's what, you know, in, in, in this point in time, that's what majority of like you know Benzinga, Market Watch, or whatever they're all reporting. Like, oh, look what our whales doing with such and such stock, and whatnot. It's 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 all coming from brewing from that from that time, like from his narrative into the stock market. Like he did something like that. So was he laying out a stock and looking at the chart and looking at this and that? Of course not, because he knows, like, you know, all that stuff was manipulated. Like, the market was so high and so great because it was faked at that time, even. Same thing like now. You know, we just came out of a pandemic, and we never really went down yet. We were down when the market was closed, but when it reopened, everything went to its all-time high. It makes no sense. We, it naturally, it should, it, it, everything should have recorrected uh, to the bottom somewhere um, to re restart, you know, the economy again. We were, again, we were closed. It, and it never happened before where the market was just shut completely. Um, the last time that happened, there was no market at that time. <laughs> so in the early 1900s. So when there is a level playing field, that's why I keep saying also, we're waiting the IEX system to see what it will do as far as level not the playing field. If it's going to be on our side, we'll know that when it gets implemented. Uh, no one knows yet. But if it doesn't, then guess what? Again, you have from 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 your first moment of getting into this play or other plays, 
that's why I keep advocating keeping your eyes open, keep your ears open across all markets. You will naturally grow a feel for the market. And then eventually, you're not going to even need any of these uh, you know, charts or anything. I mean, some people even think that it's just so simple. You just buy into whatever stock and, and it's, it's not really like that, but you just buy into whatever stock and you just, um, you know, hold until the squeeze, I guess. Uh, and, and in a, in a way, um, every company is bound for uh, a, a move up and obviously a move down, no matter what. Uh, it depends on, on, just depending on time, you know? It's just a funny way of thinking of it. Um, you know, it, because any stock you open in your stock market, you just look at the all-time high, and like the 52-week high and the 52-week low, and you see that obviously the two numbers are completely on different stratospheres. Um, I'm not saying go and put on whatever money and just hold and make it. It's not that simple. I'm just saying it's not as hard as the way that, you know, YouTubers out there try to make it out to be. I'll cut this video right here, guys. That's it. It's just so important for me to share with you um, the, the 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 importance of how to make this like like of how to not let the anxiety or of of of, of thinking or the fear of what if get to you. You know, just have your strategy, and once once you once you once you start seeing it go to work, and you like invest in yourself like a business, like you are the business. You know, once you start seeing it going to work and it's paying out dividends to you, then you'll see with time, you will not just only grow, but you will develop certain skills that you yourself will start putting out there and say, you know what, this is what you need to look at. This is what you need. This is what I've done. And this is how I could, uh, you know, what, what, what could help you guys out there with, you know, I can help you guys out there with, um, so, again, much love, guys. We're going to anticipate watching the rest of this uh, great market today. Let's see what happens with these after hours. I feel like something really huge is going to break out. Maybe SPCE is going to continue its run. Uh, maybe BBIG or, again, all the uh, meme stocks will break out at once. Don't be, f like, don't fall for that. One thing I've said in, I think it was like eight videos ago, I said, Watch out from the hype of seeing one go up like squeezes and high percentages. And then you, from from formal perspective, getting out to try to jump on that bandwagon. And then you end up losing here and there. Remember, all if you already done your homework and you already know you have your conviction in your play, it's just a matter of time. Much love. I'm going to go watch that Champions League game. Uh, Hopefully, I don't create a lot of haters now to me, but I'm a, I'm, I'm a Barcelona fan, so by nature, I am a PSG fan now. Um, but let's see. May the best team win.